Welcome back graduates. So today I wanna to go over 2.6 Ecomify theme release. This is going to be an amazing uh, new update uh, and sneak peek there is going to be we're going to jump right from 2.6 to 3. so we're going to scratch everything and start over uh, because now there's going to be some amazing new releases and features for three so it's just going to be totally different but we also have some new um terms and licensing things that we want to uh uh, cover over as well, which you can see in the next video as well. So this is just going to be a 2.6 overview of the things that have changed um, and and what to expect and just an overview and we hope you love it. If you love it, uh, definitely uh, send some feedback and uh, review. If you don't, um, I'm sorry, we're sorry and uh, please let us know, send us an email. Uh, sorry, that is my dog. Send us an email. Um, and let us know um, what we can do to make it better. We do try to listen to you guys, and we're very excited for this. So without further ado, let's get into 2.6. So, um, so right over here, this is the demo theme. I want you to also uh, take note in the previous video, we do mention, please do not compare themes. Our theme is different. Our theme uh, works for you guys. It's a community theme, community-driven theme um, by, backed up by data. Uh, so right over here in the uh, demo, this is what you're gonna get. Um, what you don't see in the demo is now what you're gonna get. Um, everything is nice and fast, and um, there's a lot of really cool features. You'll, uh, you'll see similarities, and then you'll see new features as well. Keep in note that we do not all, um, we do not enable all the features under the sun, as there are a lot, um, and it's just, a lot and it would get a lot um it would get very um unorganized in the demo as well so we're trying to keep it nice and fluid and clean for you as well uh so going down here these are all things that you're familiar with we have uh fixed some things as well so going on to the demo as as you can see here we do have you know the download theme we do have our documentation um and our youtube playlist plus you know get support uh so let's go to the documentation when you're on the documentation right over here, um, this is, uh, we have updated this. Um, so please go in, go in and this is where we're going to be updating um, the content, how to's, and also uh, additional notes as well uh, down here. So for example, um, additional notes, you know, helpful links, um, and then also, you know, image size. We've, we've noticed that some people are having and struggling with some image uh, sizing issues. We do apologize. Uh, we do have now a kind of a, a good guide for you. Uh, but this is one of the most important ones that you wanna always look out for. It is our change log. And uh, right over here, we say our, uh, our version uh, release date, we try to make it on that time. You know, there are some bugs, this and that, so we wanna try to um, aim for that, uh, but uh, we try our best. So anyways, um, this is what it includes. You know, we have the right to left language mode option now, a phone icon. There are some new features that are, you know, that you think are small, but they have been requested, so we have also integrated that as well. So the phone option on social um, icons, a fancy alternate, um, FAQ, things like that. So we'll go over that right here. Uh, and also we do have it in our features and sections, um, the how-to for the um, right to left, things like that. Um, so there are also some other additions to some sections and different and, and uh, differences that um, are just so much that you're just gonna have to go in and try for yourself and do a trial and error kind of situation and, and see the settings, it's fun. It's fun also seeing um, what release came out and you know we do tell you, but also for you to test and see for yourself what it is, how it works, how it's going to convert and uh, drive a sale. Uh, so going into here, this is the Comify theme. We are working from scratch um, a three point version. You can also see, just letting you know, it is bare bones right now, bare bones. Uh, so that's a sneak peek. Going into here, this is a 2.6. It's going to be released um, on January, or I'm sorry, on June 7th, hopefully. Um, so we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go into customize. 
Uh, so right over here, I'm also on a uh, laptop, a small screen monitor, so this is not the exact sizing, um, and just keep a note. Uh, go into here, this is what the mobile will look like, and then this is what the full screen when someone is on um, a 13 inch, 17 inch um, monitor. Uh, so you have the left and the right sidebars to help you. Uh, so scrolling down here, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, we have the, um, the shoppable um, slider here. Uh, one thing is the footer. Let's go into the footer. Um, and at the, let's see, let's exit this out. Uh, footer here. The social icons actually down here. I'm going to go into my themes. There's a lot of moving parts to this. And I'm going to go under social and at the very bottom here, it has to be this exact format, tell, and then your phone number. So let's say, for example, I do um, tell colon plus. Now you guys can call me 2504. And now it will have an option for phone. And at the very, very bottom, um, keynote, um, if you go on a different website or yourself, before clicking on it, you can just hover over and at the very bottom of the left, you can see where it goes to. Uh, so that's, a, you know, these are small additions, but some of them are really big additions as well. Uh, when you do get the 2.6 um, theme, uh, you will have a compare, uh, compare table um, already there for you. So what it'll look like is like this, full screen, and it looks like this. So a very awesome compare table. You know, we have this just is for the demo. You can um, have um, other, other brands, your product, your competitors. This is really good, um, you know, uh, requ uh, requested feature. So all these features that we put in are requested for you, um, from you. Uh, then we have a fancy alternate um, FAQ. So let's go to the FAQ and let's just see how it looks. So it looks like this. I'm going to go into my FAQ block here and I'm also going to go and uh, we had added a uh, image option. So you can just add, you know, an image. Um, let's just do this, this image here. So now it's going to look like this and then, you know, it'll look like this if you choose to have an image. Uh, then we have right over here, accordion style. You can have the default that looks like this. You can have the flush that has no border, or you can have the nice fancy style that kind of looks like this. I really like the nice fancy style. Um, it, it's really clean and it separates. Um, segments. Uh, so another thing I want to go over, super excited about all of these um, really cool features that you guys requested. Um, going on to the product page, the always the one that we kind of just showcase, the Comify mug. So you'll notice that uh, there is this, you know, big product form. We do enable it, um, but you do not have to enable all of these. I know that it doesn't convert if there's such a long product page. Uh, but scrolling down here, so one of the biggest things is now we have uh, details and um, show within the accordion. Uh, if you toggle this off, it will show the details outside of the accordion. If you scroll down, so notice how it is outside of that accordion right above the size, and now it's within the accordion. Um, in addition, we also made SVG icons right over here. You can choose. You can also um, check out the other video, how to make custom SVGs, and then um, adjust the width and the size, uh, the width and the height as well. Uh, we also did this for the size chart. Something very cool that we did for the size chart, you go into the size chart, and it can be into the drop-down and view image just like so. Or size chart. And if you uh, want it without the accordion, which I prefer, it looks really uh, nice this way, full screen, and then it will just be a, uh, a pop up modal like this, kind of like incognito and small, um, and it doesn't have to be within the, um, the tabs, which is a really cool feature as well. Uh, I like that, but know that um, you can change out the SVG icons. But when, for example, you're going into the details and you want it outside of the accordion, the icon for details is going to go away because it doesn't need to be there. Also, take a note if you are going to have details outside of the accordion, don't have images, don't have GIFs, um, don't have um, like 
heavy, heavy media files there and not long. This is just a way to um, give subtitles. So right now, for example, this is a really long um, de uh, details uh, page. So I would condense it and just kind of have like that first paragraph. Then what I can do is create another uh, rich text tab and put it right above the shipping and details for more details. Um, then let's go back. Uh, then we have, you know, uh, alert additional color settings. So this was a really big request as well to have color settings, additional color settings. So we have the uh, primary, the secondary, the dark, and then we also have alert. So this means that when you go into, let's say, for example, a feature product and I have it pink right here, I have it as my primary, I can uh, set it to any of these custom colors that I want. So it doesn't have to be the, uh, the default bootstrap colors. So we have it as success. Let's just make this a nice um, gray, I guess. So we'll do gray for success. So I just wanna show you how that looks, uh, feature products, and then scrolling down here where it says uh, show sale badge. I wanna show the sale badge and I want it to be, um, oh, success, I already did it. So it's gray. So let's uh, just, for example, I want this to be red. It's going to change it to red. So now you have the customization to change your sale color badges and the other badges as well, or the other colors as well. Uh, so going into here, we do have a gradient background option. Um, they're on over all of our sections. So this only works on actual colors. Keep in note, uh, it does not work. Let me refresh this. I don't save. Uh, it does not work on just white or light background. Uh, so let's say, for example, I have this black. It's very, very subtle, but it does make a difference if you want to test it out. It's an option. So there you go. You can kind of see that it is choosing the black, but a gradient uh, with it. And you can do this with um, any of the uh, colors that you choose as well. Uh, and you have that with um, the other sections as as well here everywhere um, then we have you know download our mobile app if you do have a mobile app if uh, you do if you are interested in our mobile app please contact us about this um, very exciting it did get approved but if you do have a mobile app of yourself you can definitely get that featured right over here this is as a uh, a block in the footer so let's say for example i want to remove this um, and mobile apps and it'll automatically populate the styling for you i'm not going to save this though uh because i already did some edits this is the demo so we don't want to do anything um then um we have multiple um we have multiple sections to show inventory stock now on prod on product list items um and sh and store availability i know that was uh, a request as well so you go to the product page and uh then you go into the product template itself and we also have i'm scrolling sorry i'm super excited um we have show breadcrumbs and we don't have to uh, show breadcrumbs. If you show breadcrumbs, you have the option to have it on the top now or where it was originally at the bottom of the form. Uh, where's the bottom form? I'm not used to doing on a laptop, but right over here, here. Um, then show store availability. So we have the option to just toggle the whole thing off or toggle the whole thing on. Um, so there's that. Um, going down here, we have the comparison now, um, product descriptions showing the blocks, um, icons, and then the size modal as well. Um, and then we did, um, you can just go over some enhancements that we did and then also uh, fixes. Uh, you'll notice that on the old, old, later versions, we realized uh, through other customers that, you know, a parallax section did not um, work on Safari, so we made that fix as well. Um, a nav bar logo option. So what that means is before you didn't have the option to choose a different uh, logo on mobile um, as opposed to desktop, but on 2.6, you do. So you have the logo on desktop and then you have the logo on mobile that you can choose as well. And in addition, Shopify has also released the option for you to add a SVG logo. Uh, then we have um, some it's, uh, we have a enhancement of a, um, a menu and we can have it in the center. Now it does look like this because I do have um, a lot of menus here. Um, it is meant for it to have just a few 
uh, uh, a few menus. We are trying to see if we can like you know space it out, but that does get a lot. Uh, that does get pretty complicated. So we're uh, seeing if we need to fine tune that a bit more. So if you do do um, menu on the left, just uh, make sure to only have a few. Few. Uh, then we have you know animation. We did redo our animations, and uh, they they are on. Uh, various uh, sections now. It's not through the theme settings and where it usually was, but in other, in actual sections now, you have the option for animation. And uh, what that looks like is, for example, let's go into the, uh, right over here. Let's see. We only have on, um, certain areas. So animation you'll see, so these are some uh, uh, features that you'll see that are kind of hidden, but they do work really well and, and something to test out. So animation, you have all these options um, to, you know, back and down, zoom in, fade, and no animation. Uh, so you can just kind of choose what section you want scrolling in, animated in or out, and then the uh, speed as well. Um, so, <clears throat> Uh, there, there are settings for that and uh, gradient, um, gradient background options. Um, then, you know, um, I won't go through these, but it's right over here. You can uh, see the fixes that we did. Uh, then we also did one um, thing, uh, one enhancement, which was our image with text. And some people had requested that, you know, the image was too large, things like that. So if I go to an image with text, and you see it like this, and I'm just gonna do full screen to kind of show you what it looks like. This looks fine, and this is on a half. Again, you have the animation option here. Um, so scrolling right here, image size, and this only applies to desktop. If it's one third, it's gonna be one third, and it's gonna be a bit, a bit smaller. Uh, so you'll kind of see how it does actually look nice that way too. And then just take note that the text kind of expands a bit more because it is a one third instead of one half. Uh, so let's just go back and then kind of test that out. Um, so that's just a run through of 2.6. Uh, we really are excited about this. Uh, we did also have like, for example, a, a max length and helper text with the with the uh, personalization. So for example, what that means is when you go into here and you have a personalization field, you have the values and then a max length. This means that limit the number of characters for the input area and then the helper text as well. Uh, so that's really great uh, to use. Uh, so there, there are a lot of you know, new features um, and, and settings that we have and uh, a last one that I really, I really like personally that um, we have uh, enhanced was the marquee section. And in the marquee section, you have an image or you have a text option. So we have hit this right now. Uh, and we have a couple examples to show you um, later on. But what you could do is you could uh, remove all of these and then make them all just images sliding through if you have any brands you want to display, things like that. So it can be uh, text and image or just solely image, um, which is a great way to leverage your brands um, in addition to having the brands page. Um, and you can make them linkable as well. So super excited, <laughs> again, 2.6. Um, thank you so much for all the love, the feedback. Um, we are trying to make this the best thing for you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to Ecomify at ecomgraduates.com. Um, I'll put the support email down below. Um, if you like this, uh, thank you so much. Please, please, please um, send us more feedback. We wanna make this literally the best thing for you guys. Thank you. <laughs>